Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. This is Dr. Rabit. Uh, viewers, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about common pet diseases. I have already made four videos on the common pet diseases, including virus, bacterial, fungal, and parasitic infections. And we have further categorized into these, into the communicable and non-communicable diseases. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about various systematic diseases commonly found in the animals. So most of the systems affected in infectious or non-infectious in, uh, agents includes cardiovascular disorders, integumentary or skin disorders, digestive disorders, ocular or eye diseases, reproductive disorders, ear disorders and musculoskeletal disorders. So let's start our today's lecture. So the abnormalities of the cardiovascular system may arise due to the following mechanisms. For example, there might be the cardiac valves fail to close or open. Inadequate opening or closing of the cardiac valves, either mitral valve or the either uh, tricuspid valve, then we categorize diseases into valvular disorders. So in heart muscle pump inefficiently or relax adequately, then we call this disease as myocardial diseases or cardiomyopathy or heart beats too slowly or too rapidly or arrhythmia. So you should keep in mind that arrhythmia may arise from the other complications of the heart. There might be myocardial diseases, valvular diseases, cardiac shunts or any of the other stress conditions. So we categorize into arrhythmia means irregular beating of the heart. So abnormal communication between chambers we refer to it as cardiac shunts are between the systematic and pulmonary circulations these are referred as cardiac extra cardiac shunts so there might be any of the holes between the chambers of the heart there are four chambers of the heart uh, and we categorize broadly into the left and right sides of the heart so if there's abnormal communication between these chambers or there might be the abnormality between the septa which separates the each uh, each chamber of the heart then we refer at the shunts so let's discuss that what are the common cardiovascular disorders found in pet and dog pets including dog and cat so valvular diseases includes degenerative mitral valve diseases uh, commonly we acronymically write it as the dmvd Valvular regurgitation or backflow of the heart. There might be the backflow of the heart due to inadequate closing of the mitral valves. And there's stenosis. Stenosis may be due to the uh, inflammation of the mitral valves. There's inadequate opening of the valves. So this is a just overview for the understanding of the what are the common problems we, uh, we can diagnose through. Other myocardial disorders include pump failure or systolic dysfunction and reduced or impaired diastolic function hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is most common in cats around 85 percent of the heart diseases are due to the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or pericardial diseases hem angiosarcoma or chemodectoma are the examples of the pericardial disorders other complications may arise like including uh, pericarditis or traumatic pericarditis etc arrhythmia may result secondary to underlying structural heart diseases structurally there are various structures in the in the heart just like there may be endocardium pericardium and myocardium so structural change in these layers might result in the arrhythmia atrial fibrillation in horse and dogs with left atrial enlargement PVC or uh, right ventricular cardiomyopathy or dilated cardiomyopathy and sick sinus syndrome. PVC refers to premature ventricular contractions in which there is the irregular or uh, heartbeat is increased. Persistent atrial standstill and third degree atroventricular block in older dogs with AV nodal fibrosis are the common uh, conditions due to which arrhythmia results 
uh, these can be diagnosed through the electrocardiograph so in a next lecture this is a very very interesting lecture we are going to discuss skin disorders thank you very much